What's going on guys? It's your boy DPJ here today with another Destiny video. Now just over two months ago I uploaded a video titled The Secret Exotic Weapon where in the video I demonstrated how an extra slot would appear within the blueprints folder. It would appear when the year 2 version of the Midi Multi Tool was bought and this was pointed out to me by a couple of you guys on Twitter and it really did have me curious. At the time of the upload, it was before challenge mode was dropped and the speculation behind what this weapon could be was insane. Many people were saying it was a Jade Rabbit and because I play on Xbox, I won't unlock it until the year exclusivity of that PlayStation has runs dry. But the same thing happened to PlayStation users who had the Jade Rabbit and every other exotic. They would still get this slot appear so it was completely unexplained and nobody knew what it was. Now to be honest I should have covered this ages ago but at the time Destiny was thriving with things to do and I completely forgot about it even though I still get many messages on a daily basis of people trying to explain to me what this is. Unfortunately it was nothing more than a glitch. While I and many other people did initially think Bungie had one more hidden exotics for us to uncover, it just wasn't the case. And what a disappointment it really was. The thought of something hidden where we have to uncover clues and how it's obtained and unlocked is probably one of the best additions added to the Taken King. The touch of Malish, the black spindle, the Salipa simulant, a few of the ghost shells were all surrounded by secrets which were great to uncover and discover. Although the sleeper turned out to be a novelty weapon in the end, and in my opinion it was far too easy to obtain, other hidden secrets like the black spindle mission were a great addition to the game. Hopefully for future DLC, these type of side missions will make a return. Bungie must realise how hot this thing makes the game in terms of excitement to uncover new things. It's like the basketball relic room uh, that's a part of the King's Fall raid. That still to this day has no purpose. Luke Smith did confirm it was basically just a fun room with no purpose but me personally I believe it did initially have a purpose but maybe time ran out somewhere down the line and it just become an unfinished project. A project that probably could have led to something else, more secrets. I'm sure Bungie have learnt though that these things are very welcome to us and uncovering secrets to unlock many more secrets and ideas is something we all love. But yeah guys, I apologise, I should have uploaded this video way way earlier. That secret hidden exotic that's uncovered in the blueprints folder is nothing more than a glitch. A lot of people were telling me on Twitter and posting screenshots showing me that it was the infective and the infective weapon appeared before it disappeared. Me personally, I've slowed down my footage of my original recording and I can't see that. But I went back to the blueprints folder and the actual slot has disappeared. So obviously it's nothing more than a glitch, unfortunately. So I apologise about that. I apologise about the hype I may have caused with the initial video. But I'm sure you guys understand where I was coming from. But I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for stopping by as always. And I'll catch you on that next one. Peace out until next time. Peace! We all on YouTube every damn day Watching these vids of the brand new games Vid after vid, many are the same That's why you gotta go and find DPJ Testing these gameplays, weekly snipes Heavy uploads gonna have you a hype Started in the UK, now he's worldwide DPJ, go and subscribe